Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long since I've made a video, but my daughter, who's two, broke her leg. It's been awful. So it's been a long few weeks. Um, she finally got it casted though, so things are looking good. Um, so yeah, that's why I've been MIA. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And with that said, let's get started. So today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I went in for, what did I go in for? Uh, storage containers. I'm really trying to organize all my drawers and my cupboards underneath my sinks and Dollar Tree has the best storage containers you guys. It's awesome. They have like every color you can think of. Gray, pink, green, blue, red, uh, clear. Um, they have storage things for your um, like stationery and just buckets for toys and stuff like that. So I'll show you what I got for that. Um, I got these for my fridge. These are soda can um storage things for your fridge but i also put other things in here i have my kids drink yogurt little yogurt drinks or like pouch uh yogurt pouches so i put those in here or cheese or whatever or like lunch meats and it's just easy to pull out and see what you have and it just keeps up nice and organized so i picked up a couple of those and then i got these came with two for a dollar i already opened it and started organizing but they're nice little baskets um, I put these in drawers because they're short, so they, they won't get caught on the drawer when you open it. Um, so I put like pens, notepads, like tape, all that kind of stuff, and I kind of keep that organized that way. And they also come in this really tiny one. This came with three. I um, already started using them. And these, again, are good for the drawer because they're short. Okay, next up are these colored containers I got. I got three different types. All, both are all three in gray. So I got two of these little baskets. <clears throat> I didn't really have anything in mind when I bought these. I just know that I'll use them. And I got this style. Got the handles, so that's nice. <clears throat> and then this bigger style. I'll probably put toys in here or something um, to keep my or, uh, my family room like, a little more organized. My kids' toys are everywhere. <laughs> and so it's nice just to put them in a little bucket. That way it looks just a little more neat, you know what I'm saying? And it's easier to, at the end of the day, maybe take the whole bucket upstairs to the room and empty it out and then do it again the next day. So Dollar Tree, guys, is the best for organization, I'm telling you what. Um, so next up, um, I found some great glassware. They have really pretty dishes, you guys. They're a dollar a piece, so if you got like a, a, I don't know how many come in a set. Is it 16? of each I don't know I don't know maybe eight of each piece is like a plate and a cup and a you know a bowl so I don't know if that would add up and be cheaper than if you just bought a set like at Target I haven't done the math but I don't need a whole set so we're out of bowls like we keep breaking them let me refresh that I keep breaking them so I bought a few more bowls so I just got some pretty white ones they had gray they had like ones with um, prints as well and then I found these adorable coffee cups. This one says latte. And this one says cappuccino. And actually, I think I'm going to give these as a teacher gift. My son's finishing preschool, and I'm going to give his teacher a little gift. So I think I'm going to give these to her. They actually would really go well with her house. And they're really pretty. Not bad for a dollar, right? All right, next up are vases. They got great vases there. They're not very big. Keep in mind they're a dollar, but this is like one of the bigger sizes they carry. But I really thought the shape was pretty. And you can never have too many vases. I love fresh flowers around the house. So I got another vase. And then I found these candle holders that remind me of pumpkins. You know, they start putting false stuff out now. And let's just pretend like it smells like pumpkin and apple and it's fall. <laughs> um, so I picked a few of these up because if you wait until the season, they'll be gone. So you gotta see, you gotta grab it when you see it. So these are really pretty. They're kind of like mercury glass almost. And a little orange, a little pumpkin. So that's it for glassware. And then I also found this really pretty dish towel in lemon. Um, and I found a cup as well, which I don't want to dig through my bag and show you because it's really loud. So sorry about that. I just got a little, oh, I'm sorry, I got a bowl. A little, so this bowl, imagine this bowl with a few lemons on it. That's what I got. And I'm going to display that in my kitchen. Um, I have a little three-tiered display tray that I decorate for every season. And so this is going to be my summer, my summer motif. 
Well, they had sunflowers, they had bees, they had some really cute stuff, you guys. And again, I wouldn't use this as a real dish towel that the quality is not that great, but for decorative use, it's perfect. All right, so I also went in there to get some stuff for my son. He, um, you know, try to keep him entertained while he's at home while school's out, and I got him coloring books and puzzles. Um, so they have great coloring books though, you guys. They have Princess Disney. They have uh, Sesame Street. They have superheroes, which is I got my son. He's in the superheroes right now. And it's also an activity book. So not only is it coloring, but also has activities like match the like pictures or do this little maze type thing. So I got him that. And then a new box of crayons. You know, crayons break easily. And these are Crayola, you guys, and for a dollar, that's a really good price. I'm pretty sure these would be over $2.49, $3 at Target. I'm not sure about Walmart though, maybe Walmart's cheaper. Not from the dollar store though, but it's definitely dark, cheaper than Target. So I got him a few Mickey Mouse puzzles. This is a 24 piece. Um, he finished this one in like five minutes, so oh, as it falls out. Um, so he's probably a little getting a little too old for this. He just turned five. Um, so I'm going to bump him up to the 24 piece and see how he does on those. Um, and I also got a little Hulk one, which the pieces are not missing. They fell out and they're down in the plastic. So great place to find activities for the kids, like drawing and stickers and all that. That's Dollar Tree is where it's at, you guys. Um, another coloring book, Mickey Mouse. And then I could not pass these up. I mean, come on, it's a unicorn glow wand. <laughs> Came in two colors. I cannot pass that up. So super cute. If my daughter doesn't use them, I will. <laughs> All right, and bubbles is another great thing at the Dollar Tree. Um, they actually, this Miracle Bubble Solution is a great brand and it really does work. So pick it up when you see it. I didn't really like what it came with because my kids are a little too young for the blowy thing. So I picked them up these bubble trays. And I thought that would be fun for them. Okay, and then next up I got them just little aprons they're a little cheap but you know what good enough for when we do some painting in this you know indoors trying to do some more indoor activities because it gets so hot here so I thought painting would be fun and what you know these are great cover up their little clothes and they don't get all messy and they're a dollar so if they do get messy you just throw them away after a few uses of course <laughs> all right so I also found another adult coloring book for myself. Um, the one picture that caught my eye is so funny is the fruit. I really want to color the fruit. <laughs> it, you know, these are really great for a dollar, you know, keep yourself entertained or busy, or you just want to relax and color, maybe drink a glass of wine and do some coloring. That'd be fun. So I picked that up as well. And then it's really hard finding gift bags for men, I feel like. So I was not in the... I was not going there for gift bags, but I saw these and I couldn't pass them up. So this one's for you, it says, and it's like a an army green with like a copper detail. I thought that was really nice and manly. And this one says your day, and that's like a white and a gray. And then this, and these don't even have to be for birthdays. I mean, this could be for Father's Day or for retirement or whatever. So I thought that was multi uses out of this. I always love that. And this one's a really chic um, black and gold. So I thought that was really nice as well. They have great, great bags there, you guys. Now, okay, so Targets are adorable. It's like, I don't get me wrong, but they're three, four dollars each. And most people take a bag and they throw it away, you know, and for me, it's a dollar. So I feel like you're, they look great, for a dollar especially but these I don't think look like a dollar you know what I'm saying they have plenty of bags there that look like a dollar um, but these ones I think are really nice um, and I would keep these if I got these as a you know from a gift I would keep them and reuse them that's what I do don't tell anyone <laughs> okay so moving on thank you cards my son had a birthday party recently I need to write thank you cards for him and also my husband asked for thank you cards for someone and so I got um, these ones because I thought these were kind of neutral for men or women. And then these are blank inside, but I thought these were really chic. It's like a navy and a gold. So you can use those for whatever kind of notes you need. And then I just got these for my son's birthday party to say thank you. 
I get six for a dollar. Um, thank you cards are like four or five bucks at Target. I'm not sure about Walmart, um, but it's a thank you note. Most people throw those away, unfortunately. I keep all of my stuff, but a lot of people throw stuff away. So anyways, I don't want to spend more than a dollar on something like that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then finally we're on to a few fall decor pieces that I found. If you don't got, buy it now, it's going to be gone when you want it. So, first up are these floral picks. Dollar Tree floral picks, floral picks are not my favorite. They look cheap, because they are. Um, so for me, when I f buy them, I usually put them up above my cabinets where you can't see them up close. So th from that far away, they look nice. But in general, these actually are really nice. I wouldn't say they're... I think what it is, you guys, with floral picks, it's the, the, the greenery part. The floral part looks nice and might be comparable to Hobby Lobby and Michaels, maybe. It's this part that looks cheap to me. I don't know why they do that. They really cheapen it up with the the leaf part. Anywho, these are really pretty for fall. It's like a purpley blue green, which really goes well with my house decor. And I'm gonna put these up on my cabinet. That they're really pretty. And then I got some little apples. I'm gonna do a, a nice vase up on my cabinet again. And I got these cute little fake apples. I bought these last year. And I think I did a video with those. Um, so I bought some more. Um, and I'm gonna stack them, like I said, in a vase above my cabinets. So those are so cute. I keep recording buying fall stuff. I'm ready though. It's not even halfway through summer, but I'm ready. I love fall though. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video and please give it a like and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.